The topic we entered now is simple interest. Simple interest is a very simple topic because it is very straightforward. We are asked to find the simple interest on 2,250 Naira saved at 9% for four years. Simple interest which can be represented by SI is given by this formula PRT all over 100 where P is the principal. R is the rate while T is the time. Principal, the money that was saved, rates, the percentage at which it was saved, and T, the time it was saved. Now, after the explanation of the formula for simple interest, let's go ahead. In the question we are given, the principal is 2,250 naira. So we have 2,250. You are going to multiply it to $2,250. Multiply it to the rate. The rate we are giving is 9%. And the time is 4 years. So you have 4 multiplied to 8. Divided by 100. You can use a calculator and multiply out. We have... 2250 times 9 times 4 is giving us 81,000. 81,000. 81,000 divided by 100 is going to give you 810. That means the, the simple interest. For saving 2,250 Naira at 9% for four years is 8,100 Naira. The second question said that we should find the simple interest of 1,600 Naira at 6% for three and a half years. Simple interest is calculated with the formula PRT all over 100. In this case, our principal is 1,600. Then times the rate, 6 percent. Times the time, three and a half. Three and a half means 3.5. 3.5, all over 100. You can cancel this and cancel this. So with a calculator, multiply 16, 6, and 3.5. You're going to have 16 times 6 times 3.5. 336 Naira. 336 Naira. This is the third question, and it's going to be the last question we are going to take on simple interest. Because as I said, just as the name of the topic implies, simple interest is a very simple concept. They say we should find the simple interest of 131 naira 70 kobo for six years, eight months, at four and a half percent. I chose this question because of the time the nature at which the time was given. Four years, eight months. I want to use it and teach you how to convert months to years before you apply it in the time. First of all, let's convert six years, eight months into years. Eight months, you know that there are 12 months in one year. So if 12 months 
gives one year. That means eight months will be eight divided by 12. And eight divided by 12 will give you eight divided by 12. Zero point six 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 six. Zero point six six. Let's take zero point six six seven in three decimal places. Then that means the years you are going to put in the formula is going to be first of all. Let's take the principle. The principle is one three one point seven times rate 4.5 then times the time 6 years that is 6.667 everything divided by 100 use a calculator you have 131.7 one, 131.7 times 4.5, 4.5, times 6.667, 6.667. Everything is giving us 0.6667. Eight in three decimal places, then divided by 100. If you divide this by 100, you're going to have 39.5100. Then times 1,500. We have arrived at another topic. That topic is called amount. But it's not very far from simple interest that we just concluded. When you ask for amount, it is simply when you finish calculating the simple interest, that interest you got, add it to the principal from where you calculated the interest. That is to say that amount is equal to the sum of the principal and the interest. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. That is what amount is. So as you are asked to find the amount of 15,000 for 20 years at four one quarter percent. We are going to calculate the interest now. After the interest, we add it to this principle. That will give us the amount the equation is asking for. First of all, the simple interest. Principle, which is 15,000 times rates. 6.25, you know that's the meaning of this, then times the time, 20 years, all over 100, you can cancel this, cancel this, so you have 150 to multiply to 6.25 and 20. So 150 times 6.25 times 20 is 18,750. 18,750. This is the interest now. So the amount now will now be. The interest eighteen thousand seven fifty 
plus the principal, 15,000. Whatever it gives you is the amount. So let's use our calculator and add. We have 18,750 plus 15,000. It's giving us 33,750. So 33,750 becomes the amount. Find the amount of 423.68 Naira for six years, three months at 2.5%. First of all, convert six years and three months into years. Three months means three divided by 12. And three divided by 12 is going to give you 3 divided by 12 is 0 0.25. 0 0.25. That means 6 years, 3 months is 6.25 years. Now, our simple interest. Principal is 423.68. Our time now is 6.25. That is the meaning of six years, three months. You can see how we calculated, we converted months to year. Then times the rates, 2.5 divided by 100. Let's calculate. 423.68, 423.68. Point six eight times six point two five times two point five is equal to six thousand six hundred and twenty six thousand six hundred and twenty then all over hundred. This will give you 66.2. Six because of the two zeros, just move the invisible decimal that is like a full stop here towards the left twice. That was how we got this. You can go ahead and use the calculator. Divide 6620 by 100. It's going to give you 66.2. Six now, this is the interest. For us to calculate the amount, Amount is going to be the calculated interest plus the principal. The principal is 423.68. Now add it to 66.2. Whatever it gives you is the amount. Let's add. We have 66.2. 66.2. Point two plus four two three point six eight is giving us four eight nine point eight eight. So this is the amount of that eight simple interest. Now I want us to discuss compound interest. Just as the name also implies, compound means more of a thing or the bigger part of that thing. Compound is like a kind of graduating from the primary to the secondary, from graduating from the secondary to the university. Compound interest is simple interest that has graduated. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is that you calculate your interest on yearly basis and at the end of every year you calculate your amount. 
you use the amount as the principal of the next year. You are going to see when we go ahead solving the problem that we have in compound interest. Question number one said, I would you find the compound interest for 40,000 at 8% per annum for two years. What you will do is find the simple interest for the first year. Simple interest is principal, which is 40,000 times rates, which is 8% times time. You are not going to use two as time. Always it will be one because you are calculating the simple interest on each year as the years progresses divided by 100. This is going to give you, you can cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. So we have 400 times 8. 400 times 8 will give us 400 zero zero times 8. 3,200. So it's giving us 3,200 naira. So this is the interest for the first year. Now calculate the amount. The amount now is going to be 40,000, which is the principal for the first year, plus the interest, which is 3,200. The amount for the first year plus the interest will give you, sorry, the principal for the first year plus the interest will give you the amount. Let's add 40,000 plus 3,200 to give you 40,000, 43,200. 43,200. Now, this is going to be the principle that we now use for the first year. This is first year. Now the second year now. The principle for second year will no longer be 40,000 but 43,200. So we have second year simple interest. 43,200. Let's write it in such a way it will enter second year. Simple interest is 43,200. That is the amount for the first year times the same rate, 8, times 1, not 2, as you have here, because you calculate it on yearly basis then divided by 100. You can cancel this, you can cancel this. So we now have 332 times 8. Three thirty-two or 432, sorry. 432 times 8. Giving us 3,000. 456. That means that the amount for the second year will be this interest for the second year 3456 plus the principal for the second year, which is 43200. Add them together. We have 3456. 3456 plus 43,200. 43,200 is giving us 46,006. 46,656. Now, the compound interest, which can be abbreviated by 
CI will be this amount for the last year minus the original in, uh, principal that was invested. It's going to be 46656 minus 40,000. Remember that 40,000 was the original money that was invested from the beginning. If you remove 40,000 from 46,656, you'll be left with 6,656 Naira. And that is the compound interest from that question. Find the compound interest of 2,300 Naira for four years at 10% per annum. Just as the first question we did, you'll be calculating the simple interest on a yearly basis until when you get to the last year. Find the amount, subtract the original interest invested from the amount of the last year. That is your compound interest. First year. The simple interest for the first year is going to be principal, which is 2,300 times the rate, 10, times time, one year, all over 100. You can cancel this, you can cancel this. So you have 230 naira. Then amount for the first year is going to be the principal, which is 2,300 plus the interest, which is 230. It's going to give you 0 plus 0 is 0, 3 plus 0 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. Bring down two. So it's going to give you 2,530 naira. That is the amount for the first year. Then the second year. Remember, this amount for the first year is going to be the principal for the second year. Second year, we are now going to have 2,530 instead of 2,300 times 10 in rates, times one all over 100. So you can cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. You have 253 Naira. Then amount for the second year now is going to be 2,530. 2,530 plus the rate 200 and 53 naira. I hope you understood what we did. I did not write out this. 2,253 times 1, we give you 252. That is the rate of the second year. Sorry, the simple interest of the second year. Now, if you add it to 2,530, that I have here, 2,530, if you add it to the rates, which is 253, it will now give you the amount for the second year. So let's add. 3 plus 0 is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 plus 5, 7. Then bring out 2. So the amount for the second year is... 2,783 the third year the third year our principal now will be 2,783 times 10 which is our rate then times 1 all over 100 you can cancel this if 10 should divide 2787, sorry, 2783. You will have 2783.3. So the interest for the third year will now be 2,278 Naira 3 Kobo. That is the interest for the third year. Now the amount for the third year is going to be. 
the principal for the third year, which is 2,783, then plus 278.3. Use the calculator here to be more accurate. We have 2783 plus 278.3. 278.3. It's giving us 3,061 naira, three kum. So this is the amount for the third year. Now the fourth year, which is the last year. The fourth year, which is the last year, the principal then is going to be 3061.3. 3061.3 times 10 times 1 divided by 100. You can cancel this, cancel this. Shift this decimal towards the left once. So you are going to have 306.13. This is the interest or the simple interest for the fourth year. Then amount for the fourth year. The amount for the fourth year now will be equal to the principal for the fourth year, which is 3061.3. 60, sorry, 3061, 061.3 plus the interest, 306.13. If you add it to give you the, the amount for the fourth year, 3061.3 plus 306.13 is giving us 3367.43. Now, we now be equal to this amount for the last year, which is the fourth year, 33. 67.43 now minus 2300 which is supposed to be the amount that was invested from the first year whatever you have is the compound interest 33.67 minus 2,300 is giving us 1,000, 0.067.43. So this is the compound in 